Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch and today we're talking about a program I've covered a couple of times in the past and we're talking about it because of two things. First off, it is now available for half price, which is a pretty good savings. And the second part is you can also now get a three month free trial. So if you want to check this guy out, you can get the full blown versions of all of the products we're talking about today uh, for free for three months, fully functioning everything you could expect. So they're actually doing this in response to um, that which cannot be named, but uh, yeah, you can see it up on screen here. We're talking about Affinity. Now Affinity makes a couple of different programs, the biggest ones being Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. Now my personal use, Affinity Designer is one of my favorite applications. I literally use this guy daily. In fact, if you'll notice, one thing I'm working on right here is the, actually the thumbnail for this particular video. I use this guy for all kinds of work and the cool thing about it is it is a uh, vector graphics application. A lot of advantages to that is resolution independent so you can zoom in infinitely, you can create your game art in whatever resolution you want and then at the last minute you can either bring it out as vectors in your own game engine or you can rasterize it to whatever resolution is appropriate to you and as you can see here it actually has the tools at real time to actually showcase what pixel resolution graphics will look like and you can actually mix between vector graphics and raster graphics on the fly so if you need to do a special effect that requires rasterization it can do that for you automatically and you'll notice the performance on this guy is blazing fast. If you found yourself using something like Inkscape as an option, you're gonna find this is probably an order of 10 to 20 times faster on the whole. On top of that, you got great tech support in here, and that's an area where you often struggle, especially again, if you are using Inkscape as your daily driver. Now, that is the one application. I've covered both these in more depth in the past, so I'm not gonna really jump into them. This is more about focusing on the sales that's going on. Now, the other one here is Affinity Photo. Now, this isn't one that I use a whole lot. This is more of a Photoshop alternative. I use it for doing you know, background and removal on images, so if I wanna have transparency, uh, for doing mock-ups, mark uh, sorry, mock-ups, that kind of stuff, but you know, I'm not a full-blown Photoshop user, but at the same time, I don't have to pay that full-blown Photoshop price tag. My wife uses this to do Photoshop touch-ups and really moving from one to the other, there's no real loss. But unless you're like a heavy duty Photoshop user, you're probably not gonna miss much to switch to Affinity Photo and you're certainly not going to miss the subscription cost that comes with Creative Cloud. Another thing about this guy, uh, the performance is really good once again. The only thing I've really found lacking from a uh, game development perspective is unfortunately there is no DDS support in this guy. All right, so that's a very, very quick hands-on with both applications. Now we're gonna just jump on over to their website and take a look at the deal. So you can see there's um, the effects of that which shall not be named, that word that I shall not use, uh, has severely impacted people all over the world. To provide some support during this incredibly difficult time, we are now offering a 90-day free trial of all Mac and Windows versions of the whole Affinity Suite. Uh, we're also offering a 50% discount for users who would prefer to buy and keep the apps, including the iPad versions. Coincidentally, I do own the iPad versions of both Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo. I believe I did a, a video hands-on with Affinity Designer, and it is pretty much feature complete. It, you can open the same files, you just work on them on the go. It's just the uh, user interface has been uh, optimized for mobile use. It's a great, great product that way as well. And on top of that, we got Affinity Publisher. This is kind of competing against uh, uh, Adobe InDesign, not an area where I go. I checked it out when it was in beta form. I may actually buy it now that it's 50% off. This is more about doing uh, page layout. I think a little bit about website mock-up and that kind of stuff. But the ones I think the majority are gonna be interested in are Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer. Now, once again, those are also available on iPad and the price there, half price as well. You're seeing Canadian pricing, but what you're seeing here, I think um, you're looking at $30 right now, I think. It might be slightly lower when transferred over into USD uh, for any of these products. They're all the same price. Uh, and yeah, that, that's kind of the, the extent of the news, to be honest. It's uh, a program that I would highly recommend checking out. Uh, the nice thing that you got when you're dealing with Affinity products is you pay it once. Uh, I paid for it at Affinity 1.6, I think is when I bought it. And I've gotten something like uh, two major updates, major dot point updates, and then about seven or eight other minor updates on the go. So they really do support their products. And you don't have to keep paying. I, I think until we get to the 2.x launch, you're, you're still covered under that one-time purchase. So you know you can look at this, at this price, that is cheaper than one month of Creative Cloud. And so if I was to go and buy Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer uh, in two months, that would be the equivalent of having uh, Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator. Now again, I'm not gonna tell you that these products are straight replacements for those two, because they're really not. But for the majority of people, 
I don't know that you need more. Uh, I, I, in some ways, I actually find um, I could never get into Adobe Illustrator. I always found it a, a little bit uh, daunting, a little too challenging, too much legacy crafty in there. And I just jumped in and took to Affinity Designer. I don't, again, I don't use Photo that often, but Designer, uh, in my opinion, is almost a must buy. If you're looking for working with vector graphics, it is, it's, it's a staggeringly good program. And at 50% off, um, yeah, it's the best bargain I've ever seen. Even when it came to like Black Friday seals and so on, the best I've ever seen from them is 30% off. So 50% is a very solid deal. And the cool thing is, you don't have to take my word for it. There's a three month trial. So just go out there, check them out if you're interested. And if you do want to do so, you can head on over um, to affinity.serif, S-E-R-I-F.com. I will link that in the linked article down below. So if you want to learn more, check out that article. Um, if you've been on the fence about picking these guys up, once again, that is the best deal I have seen as of yet. And I, I just kind of like buying software that you own. There's just something novel about that, not having to subscribe to things. And I think a lot of people are kind of in the same boat. And the funny thing is whenever I do one of these videos, when I talk about, um, especially Affinity Designer, there's always comment upon comment upon comment about people that are kind of in the exact same boat. They went from using Adobe products over and they haven't looked back. So uh, for 30 bucks, it, it's really hard to beat. All right, so hopefully you found that useful. Uh, I'm interested in hearing what you think about these things. Comments down below and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.